Hey everybody, it's Garrett. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be trying a few viral Halloween DIYs. These have come across my For You page on TikTok, my Instagram on Reels, and they seem like fairly easy, pretty fun projects to make. And of course, we love DIYing our own decor around here. So Halloween is the perfect time to try a few new projects. I'm excited to give these a shot and share them with y'all. So without further ado, let's get started. For our first DIY project, you're going to need a big bundle of Sherpa fleece, two different sized styrofoam cones and spheres, some black felt, some skewers, and a little batch of lightweight pumpkins of your choosing. To get this started, we're going to take our skewers and jam it right into the middle of our styrofoam cones. This was actually pretty easy. It just made that really terrible nails on a chalkboard type sound as I was putting it in. We do want to leave a little bit of the skewer poking out so that we can then turn around and pop our our styrofoam spheres right on top of that and this is creating our ghost forms or the bases as you can see From there, we're gonna take that one and a half yard supply of Sherpa fleece, and I believe it was around $9. We're gonna get it all unfolded and then measure out a piece for each of our ghosts. For the smaller ghost, I did a 30 inch by 30 inch square. I just kind of measured the height of the smaller ghost and guesstimated how much I would need to cover the whole form. As you can see, this fabric is very soft and it does shed a lot though too, so just keep that in mind. I don't know if it's because it's from Walmart, but then I just very carefully draped the fabric over the smaller ghost form and adjusted the fabric around to cover as much of the styrofoam base as I can. And then I just used the entire rest of the fabric to cover the taller ghost and again adjusted it around to cover up as much of that styrofoam as possible. From there, I cut out a few oval shapes from the black felt that I also got from Hobby Lobby and it's very cheap, it's less than a dollar. And to attach these to the ghost, I'm just gonna use some masking tape because it's much easier and it allows for easier disassembly when the season is over. They popped on super easily as you can see. And then I'm gonna grab some of those lightweight pumpkins to attach them to the ghost. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use some Gorilla Hot Glue, add a little bit to each side, and then pull the fabric in the front so that it looks like the ghosts are actually holding the little pumpkins. And it's so cute, very easy. This project was super simple. I love how it turned out. I think these ghosts are adorable. The only thing I think I could do better is measuring out the fabric so that it drapes evenly all the way around the ghost. But like we saw, I was able to move that fabric around around and cover the styrofoam as best I could. Let me know what y'all think of this cute little DIY in the comments. For our second Halloween DIY, we're gonna be making some solar pumpkin lights. All you need is some of these pumpkin pails from Walmart. They're less than $2 each. And some solar lights. I also grabbed these from Walmart. The first thing we're gonna do is clip off those handles from each of the pumpkin pails. And then we're gonna take apart the solar lights and use the base from one of them to trace a circle on the bottom of each of the pumpkins so that we can cut that out and insert the solar lights through it. In order to cut the hole out, I used a straight edge tool that I have and I very very carefully cut around that circle that we made so that we can have somewhere to put the solar light through. Once you've got the hole cut out, you're just going to very simply pop the solar light right through that. And as you can see, it is a little bit of a looser fit. That's the only thing I found with this project is that the solar light sinks into the middle of the pumpkin, whereas I think you might need one that extends over the edge of the pumpkin. I'm just popping these into some planters that I have on my balcony because I don't have a full yard. And of course, you'll want to leave these outside in the sun for a while so that they can get charged up. And before they'll work, you'll need to pop off the top and remove this little piece of paper so the pumpkins glow in the night. The 
this next project I am very excited about. We're going to be making our own Halloween doormat. So I grabbed a blank doormat from Walmart and some of this black and white patio paint from Hobby Lobby as well as an assortment of sponge brushes and paint brushes and I printed off this free ghost print from Pinterest. With the print we're going to create a stencil so we're going to cut out just the middle of this piece of paper and just the ghost itself so that the edges of the stencil stay intact. And then I secured the stencil to the mat using some green frog tape so that it doesn't move around as we start to paint. And quick note here, make sure that you grab the Deco Art brand patio paint specifically so that you can use this doormat outdoors without worry of the paint bleeding or running or anything like that. Once that's nice and secure, we are ready to start painting. So I'm gonna use a generous amount of the white patio paint. And I started off by using a sponge brush to apply the paint but I learned much later on it might have gone much quicker and a lot easier if I would have used a regular paintbrush because the bristles from the paintbrush would have gotten in between the bristles of the doormat and made for a much easier and more even application of the paint but it still turns out great. I went across the top doing three ghosts and then across the bottom I did three ghosts as well going in the opposite direction. Once those were nice and dry, and the paint actually hardens once it dries, I went back through with some of the black patio paint and used a much smaller sponge brush to start to dot on little eyes to each of our ghosts. And you could totally leave the mat as it is right there, but I of course wanted to add a little bit more character. So I created this checkerboard shape out of the green frog tape. And I went through and added black paint to all of the exposed areas of the mat. And I used actually a smaller, finer paintbrush around those detail edges of the ghosts because I didn't want to get black paint onto the white paint. This is also where I actually realized that it probably would have been a much easier process if I had used a paintbrush the whole time. As you can see here with the reveal, it is super cute. I can already see myself using this for several years to come. For our next DIY, we're gonna fill up a dish with some hot water. I'm using this longer baking dish, but you can use any type of dish that could accommodate some longer candles. And then we're gonna place some candles into that water and let them soak for at least 30 minutes, refreshing the hot water periodically. And you might even want to let them soak even longer. Once they've soaked long enough, we're going to very carefully and very slowly start to bend and manipulate the candles so that they have a little more curve and a little more shape to them. But you do want to be very careful. I was doing this for the most part while the candles were still in the water but they could still break like that one which we'll fix that before we get finished and then this is what we're going for we want this kind of like wacky shape to each of the candles so we can create these cute little ghost candlesticks I laid them out on some parchment paper to dry and once they were nice and dry I got my handy dandy acrylic paint marker from Hobby Lobby and we're just gonna very simply add a few little ovals to each candle to create two eyes and a mouth and create our spooky little ghosty candlesticks and this DIY really is as easy as that very simple and fun to make I love how they turned out you can pop these into your favorite candlestick holders I have a fancy little candelabra that I got from home goods a while back these were super easy and turned out so cute I love the fun whimsical Halloween vibe that they add to my space y'all that completes this video of testing out some viral Halloween DIYs that I've been seeing on social media. I realized as I was doing these that 
it was very ghost heavy. Like three out of the four projects were ghost related, but you know, we love ghosts. We love Halloween around here. I really enjoyed making each of these projects. They're all out in my apartment now as part of my Halloween decor. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And before you head out, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I would really love to have you here as I continue to share affordable DIYs and home decor related content. Thank y'all so much for watching as always, and I will see y'all in the next one.